Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to touch on the McKamey Manor. And I am a small YouTuber, but I feel like this video needs to be out and heard because maybe not a lot of you know about it. But hopefully today you'll learn a little bit of information about it. And um, I do suggest not looking up any photos or videos on YouTube. This is a very disturbing subject to talk about but it's honestly something that needs to be heard. McKamey Manor is essentially, it's not even a haunted house. It's a torture chamber for people to go to. Um, there is a 25,000 person waiting list to experience this haunt, if you want to call it, but essentially it's just a torture chamber. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of more information about it. It is very disturbing. So if you get a weak stomach overhearing certain subjects, I suggest you turn off this video. Maybe watch something more lighthearted. Videos in the past of what I talk about ghost hunting, but like I said, since this video is a little bit different, it is something that needs to be heard so that they can make sure to stay away. Now, the McKamey Manor, the essential goal is that if you complete this haunted house, which takes about 10 hours to complete, you get $20,000. Now that is a load of bull crap. And all of my information is alleged. I want to just let you guys know that everything that I say is alleged. It's not proven. So take that with a grain of salt how you will. Russ McKamey, which is the man who started the manor, he offers to people $20,000 to complete this. Nobody has been able to complete it. Essentially, it's 10 hours of torture for people to go through. The locations are in... I'm looking down at my notes because I can't pull them up on my phone since I record from it. Um, Tennessee, California, Huntsville, Alabama, but the one in California has been shut down, thankfully. So right now there's only one in Tennessee and Huntsville, Alabama. The reason that this topic is such hot right now is because there's a documentary out on Netflix about the McKamey Manor. I would suggest not watching it. I haven't watched it, but if it's anything of like what I've seen and what I've heard, about from different people, I would not watch it. I wouldn't want to turn it on. Now, there is a 40-page waiver, which I'm going to read just a few of the points that are very disturbing, just because, and I'll throw screenshots up throughout the video if you guys want to read the waiver, um, but I went ahead and wrote them down since I can't look them up on my phone. But the McKamey, McKamey Manor, the participants understand and agree. Multiple fluids such as food coloring, grease, theatrical blood or other liquids may be placed in the participant's mouth. It is their responsibility not to swallow it, even though they spit on them and the um, participants do swallow it. They end up vomiting it up and then having to eat it back. So the people who are torturing these people, and I'll get into the types of people that he hires, and it gets even more disgusting if you read, if you read more of that waiver. Another thing is, is that participants fully understand they may be fish hooked, like through the jaw, fish hooked, like you would go fishing, fish hooked. And we're not talking about a little baby hook, because if you look up the images on Google, you can actually see these images of what they're doing to these people. They'll actually be fish hooked with these huge um, metal, like almost like crane looking things, like through their, or through the, th through their mouth. And it may rip their mouth area and the participants realize this and this is so disgusting. How can you do this to another human being and sleep with yourself at night? Another one may be that your teeth may be distracted without extracted without Novocaine and you will not hold McKamey Manor responsible for this and that in itself is horrifying. Participants also fully understand and agree that joints for example, jaws, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knee, hips, etc., even more of the joints, may be accidentally dislocated. And participants will not hold McKamey Manor responsible. This is disturbing. Can you imagine, you know, if, if you've ever broken a bone, I've broken both my ankles before, and that hurts. But they're purposely dislocating and breaking bones of yours. And you can't sue them because you signed this waiver, and I'll get into a little bit more about it, um, about how later on in the video I'll get into a little bit more about the waiver too. Another one is the participants fully understand and agree that they will participate in various 
medieval torture devices such as knife throwings while being strapped to a spinning wheel, shackles, chains, a Gilbert cage, stocks, the rack, and etc. So I'm not really sure what a Gilbert cage is or stocks of the rack, but I can only imagine what kind of torture devices he has if he's doing this to all the all kinds of participants out there. And he also says that MK Ultra may be used and you can't hold them responsible for this. Water torture may be used. There's been people, numerous people that have been almost drowned. And he says, even if you're drowned, you cannot sue. If you die from the experience, you cannot sue McKamey Manor for this. They also say that nails may pierce through the hand. So literally like your hand right here, a nail will go straight through it and you cannot do anything about that. The hand may also be smashed with tools. So maybe like a hammer or something. They're smashing every bone in your hand or every whatever they want to smash they can so there's been reports of nails being removed from the beds of your fingers can you imagine how painful that is like i don't get grossed out by a lot of stuff i watch a lot of horror movies so one of my favorite genres to watch but to think about that this is happening to real people sickens me to my stomach and it should sicken to other people i'm actually getting ready to sign the petition and i'll link the petition uh, in the description for you guys if you want to sign to get this place shut down really needs to be because nobody needs to be torturing these people. However, people who do go realize what they're getting into. So it's really up to you what you want to do. But my, personally, myself, I would not go to this place. So let's get into a little bit of detail about the waiver, what I was talking about. is So not really detailed, but what the waiver entitles. So and I'll put up a screenshot here. Um, they have hired people who have committed criminal acts against other people, horrible, horrible allegations. This is all allegations. Um, this is all my opinion when I'm saying this video. They have hired criminals, according to this Facebook message, they've hired criminals to go ahead and torture these people. And that, that should, you, you should not do that. Another thing is in the waiver, it says that there's a safe word, but even if you use the safe word, Russ McKamey, doesn't even really apply it. He only pulls you out if he feels like your physical health is in danger. But what to him is in danger physical health? What is that to him? Like they even say in the waiver that panic attacks do not count. And I suffer from panic attacks um, pretty much on a daily basis. And those are horrible to go through. And so if he's saying that panic attacks don't count as a physical condition, what really does? And there's also been reports of a heart attack happening from a man that uh, went through the McKamey Manor. And he, in an interview, he talked about how, oh, that uh, heart attack that happened. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, it was just nonchalant. And this guy, Russ McKamey, he almost is a charming, he's a manipulative person, in my opinion. He's a manipulative person who is charming his way through these people to make it seem like, oh, yeah, it's not really even harming and he uploads these videos to YouTube. How is he still able to upload? You know, in my opinion, and like Loie Lane said in her video, which I've watched, she says that these places, the videos essentially are like red rooms on the dark web, which I don't suggest you going to either. The red rooms basically are torture chambers and people watch from different countries or different places of these people being hurt and tortured. Now, if you look at the videos on YouTube, they're only a couple hours long. Some of them may be two, three, four hours long. Um, but if this haunt is taking 10 hours and people are lasting longer, where's the rest of the video at? These are raw edited videos, jump cut. Where's the rest of the video at? What has he done with the rest of the video? Is he selling these videos to the dark web, um, making money? Because he says that, you know, from his haunted house, that the donations, there's no donation to get into, only a bag of dog food. And there's a $20,000 prize at stake, and that's why people go through. But he said in multiple interviews that there's no $20,000. I mean, this guy operates the haunted house from his backyard uh, with his trailer. And he has the actors and stuff go into these places. And it is a torture chamber. I keep saying that, but I want you guys to realize that this place is a torture chamber. I do not suggest you looking up images on Google. I do not suggest you looking up videos on YouTube. There's also Google images of the sheds of where he has the people. Now, why aren't the police looking on his property 
for possibly bodies because what if these people have really gone missing? What if he has, this is all allegations in my opinion, what if he has done something with people? You know, you, you never know what's going on. And the really disturbing part is his family knows about it. His kids, which are little kids, know about the kind of torture he's doing to these people. And the, one of the videos he has, that I've watched, I can't remember which one it is, but he talks to his daughter, his two daughters and his son. This place needs to be shut down. Also, I saw, I haven't watched it yet, but there is a interview with Surviving Life's channel. And he actually interviews the kids of the McKamey Manor. You have to go through extensive testing. You have to go through therapy testing to make sure you're cleared. Doctor's notes, you have to make sure you're cleared. You have to write an email to him. Like I said, there's a 25,000 people waiting list to go to this extreme torture chamber. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't even call it a haunted house. If you want to go to a haunted house, that's great. Find out. You can look up all kinds of different haunted houses that you can travel to that are going to jump out and scare you. And that's the kind of haunted houses that I like is where they jump out and scare you. But this is a whole different level. Level. This is like hostile, basically. In my opinion, it's like a hostile that you go to. Now, there's also another account that a man at 9 hours and 45 minutes, he had made it through the McKamey Manor. And Russ pulled him out so he wouldn't be able to win. And the guy was wanting to complete it because he had come so far. But Russ said that he wasn't in shape to go ahead and complete the rest of it. Now, why are you going to essentially torture this guy for over nine hours and not let him go ahead and complete it? Because he doesn't want a winner. He's always going to win in the end. You guys have to realize that. You have to Skype with him and with Facebook Messenger and make sure that um, you want to go through this haunted house. Explain everything and it keeps telling you on different pages, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do this. This is an extreme haunted house on his, the way that he says it is. It's on all the pages, you know, turn back, you don't want to do this. You're, this is a warning and you have to essentially Skype him. You have to have all these different uh, doctor's notes and passing of tests to be able to even be considered to go through the McKamey Manor. Also in the video, if if you do look at videos, I don't want to get too graphic as to what's in those videos, but there are people that are having duct tape to their head, people who are having their hair, head shaved, their hair being ripped out of their scalp. Um, there's actually, I found a really disturbing image on Google that there's a guy with his mouth open and some kind of object going into it. I don't know if it's being put into his, his mouth or what's going on, but it's just a still image on Google. And if it is what I think it is, it's very disturbing. And I, I don't want to get really into a lot of detail, but I want to tell you guys that this is not... He says for the faint of heart, but this really is not for the faint of heart. You don't want to go to this, guys. A lot of the participants who go to this place, if they didn't have any mental health issues before then, they come out with a lot of stuff like PTSD, panic attacks, anxiety, depression, all kinds of stuff because of participating in the McKamey Manor experience. Now, I did tell you a little bit about the criminals that he hires in the Facebook message. You can see that he hires, you know, there's allegations for a lot of different things, this, the criminal acts against the people who are running this thing. Petition to go ahead and get this place shut down. It is at 115,000 signatures and counting. So hopefully we can get this place shut down. It really, it needs to be shut down. And I think the police need to investigate this a little bit closer. Because like I said, you know, the videos that he is putting online, where is the rest of it? Is he selling it to the dark web? And that's my theory is he's selling these videos of torturing people, essentially, and people paying money um, to go ahead and see it. So, there's other videos that explain it a little bit more detail. There's also a haunted house called The Blackout, which is similar to the McKamey, McKamey Manor, but it's not as extreme. So, like theirs is, you know, you have to sign a waiver. There's like eight rules. You you have to go in alone. You have to have a flashlight. You know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. If you like this type of video of me, go ahead and talking about something else other than, you know, the paranormal. Let me know. And I hope you guys like this video. Have a good night. Be safe, guys. Bye.